Yeah, right? Today, I will introduce 4 classic weapon modes. I have prepared a very hot classic mode on the current Nexus, so please watch it till the end, friends. First, a mod that has several types of love friendly weapons that use a 5.56 caliber. It's the lower friendly 5.56 collection. The love friendly mod. Animations and gunshots are great. The load isn't bad either. Overall, it's a mod with great weapons. Most weapons use the 5.56 caliber, which is probably why the mod was named 5.56 Collection. Each weapon has plenty of attachments in all standard categories, and are balanced around vanilla damage values. The new Vegas LMG and the Vanguard and Auto Loader each have one unique out in the world, and the Army 2 is too. There is also a static spawn of each weapon, and a few new surprises in the attachments. All are added to their leveled lists between levels 18 and 25. All files require Nuka World, or this is a soft requirement for the 5.56 auto loader. If you load without Nuka World, then you'll just be missing the combat site texture. All animations are independent, and will not interfere with any other Nuka World handmade virtual animations you may have installed. The creators say you want to give people the freedom to manage their games, and with this structure. They has created 3 separate sets of plugins and archives to make patch management easier when they're released on Xbox. In the future, creators will add see through Scope's feature, and he will also add ESO. Fox version will also support it later, the creator says. If you want a classic, low-friendly weapon, you should definitely install this mod. I recommend it. The Wide Wasteland Warehouse rule aims to add to the Commonwealth a plethora of new guns, armors, and props to breathe a new life into the Boston Wasteland. With lore-friendly arms and armor made with plausible manufacturing methods and design philosophies that fits into the post-apocalyptic reality of the Fallout 7. The creators say he started the project out of dissatisfaction with Fallout's vanilla weapons, especially pipe weapons and other homemade guns. The first iteration of this mod introduces to the Wasteland the Valve Handgun, a powerful 308 single-shot pistol that forces the player to make every shot count. Made with simple materials and a strange rolling breach action, the Valve is a perfect early game weapon that combines the versatility and nice handling of pistols with the power and precision of sniper rifles. To help you decide which guns and weapons you need, there is a series of tables on the mod introduction nexus site that show the design process for weapon crafting and some attachments. This table is updated with each new patch, and creator is said that this gun weapon aims to completely replace the vanilla pipe weapon. This mod adds more middle ground weapons, made from actual scraps and parts instead of fully trash or fully pro war. This mod adds three weapons, the scrap handgun, scrap submissive gun, and makeshift air rifle. These weapons are integrated into the level list, you can find them around the wasteland after level 10. This mod adds a Remington New Army revolver and the Caribbean variant to the game, complete with custom sounds, human and power armor animations and level list integration. If will begin to spawn after the player hits level 30. Stats are based on the Western revolver from Nuka World DLC so this is a pretty powerful revolver. If you want to spawn it in straight away, you can use the console command and type help Remington 0 and you should see a weapon that you can add to your inventory by using the command. Now it's time to finish. How was today's video? Did it help you a lot? If the video was helpful, please subscribe, like, and press the notification settings button, my friend. See you next.